Hello yogis. Welcome to the pranayama, mantra, and mudra section of the chakra one piece of this course. First of all, before we get started, I love to get a comfortable seat. And so what is a comfortable seat to you? Well, for me, I love this version called Siddhasana. This might not feel good in your body. You could always take Sukhasana with crisscross applesauce, or you could go with more closed hips and take Virasana, sitting on your heels. But if you do decide to choose this posture, put something in between your heels, preferably a block, but if you don't have that, you could fold up a blanket and put that in between your heels to help give you some support because we'll be sitting for a little bit. So get comfy and sit on top of something. And that's my one request. I love to sit up on some height. And when you're sitting up on some height, grab the, the glue and the hamstring and internally rotate it by pulling the flesh back and then sit back down and do that same thing with the other side. So here we are, we've arrived. The root chakra is called the Muladhara chakra. And it's at the base of the spine, the perineum. And Mula translates to root and Dara translates to base or foundation. You'll see that I'm wearing the color red. Red is the color for root chakra. And when I think of the root chakra, I think of a really like deep grounding energy, like very kind of safe. And that's gonna lead me into, the safety piece will lead me into our first mudra that we'll hold, which is fearless heart mudra. Cross, it could go either way, your left hand over your right or your right hand over your left. Interlace your first pointer fingers, interlace your middle fingers, Skip the ring finger and interlace the pinky fingers and then bring your ring finger and your thumb to touch. And you hold this mudra by your heart. And I'll just do that one more time in case some of you didn't catch, catch it. We can do it two different ways. Cross your hands and this time try interlacing the pinky finger. Skip the ring, interlace the middle, and then interlace the pointer finger and bring the thumb and the ring finger to touch. Fearless Heart Mudra, or also known as Abhaya Hadraya Mudra, it really translates not that like we are fearless, but that we see our fear and we don't turn away from it. We, uh, we really like look at our fear and we don't let the fear dictate our lives. And so fear can be directly related to the root chakra. And any sense that we feel of like lacking or not being good enough, that's, that's fear that's really getting under our skin. And so we hold fearless heart mudra, nice and strong, in our own worth. Knowing that the fear is only natural, it's only normal, but it will not control us. Begin to sit here and notice your breath. Breathe fully in and fully out. Next, we're gonna walk our way into the pranayama version of the course. I do wanna say if fearless heart not mudra gets harder for your hands to hold if it's new for you, you can always release and take Prithvi Mudra, which is the thumb to the base of, or the thumb to the ring finger tip. And Prithvi Mudra, or Bhumi Mudra, actually is directly related to the earth element. That's this, this ring finger represents the energy of the earth, the earth chakra. And so take whatever version you would like, sit tall through your spine, And take a moment to check in. How are you feeling today? Do you feel grounded? Safe? Healthy? 
These are all feelings that we can bring into our awareness to help balance the root chakra. From here, moving into the pranayama, take a deep inhale in through your nose and exhale out through your mouth, go. Do that two more times on your own. We'll be moving into Sama Vritti Pranayam. It's even fluctuation of the breath. And so we will be doing repetitions of four, but just know that if you choose to do Sama Vritti Pranayam on your own, you could do repetitions of any number you want, five, six, or three. So just follow along here. Take a dig, take one more big inhale through the nose. Let it go out the mouth. One more time in through the nose. And exhale like you're fogging up a mirror out through the mouth. This time seal your lips, inhale through the nose. Slightly tone the back of the throat and exhale out through the nose. The breath may become to sound a little bit audible as you slightly constrict your epiglottis, the back of the throat, as you breathe in and out. This is called ujjayi breathing. Breathe in and nice and full to the top. One more time, open mouth, exhale. From here, inhale for a count of one, two, three, four. Exhale, ujjayi out for one, two, three, four. Inhale, nice and full for one, two, three, four. And exhale for four, three, two, one. Adding on, inhale for one, two, three, four. Pause. Hold your breath at the top for one, two, three, four. And exhale for four, three, two, one. Hold empty. No breath in for one, two, three, Four. Deep inhale and in. fill up your lungs. Fill up the sides of the lungs. Target the breath towards the back of the rib cage. For two, three, four. Hold. Full of prana. Full of the life force energy. For two, three, four. And exhale for four, three, two, one. Pause. Hold the breath out for one two, three, four. Last round. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Hold at the top for one, two, three, four. Exhale for four, three, two, one. And begin to return to your normal breath. Notice how you may feel when you get to that point when you have no breath in and you're not able to breathe in right away. That is our nervous system, that fear kind of response, that fight or flight response coming in. But this pranayama is teaching us to be able to work with that kind of scarcity that we feel in that moment and really to lean into it. The last portion of this class will be the Bija Mantra of the Root Chakra, which is a Lam. And we'll chant it nine times. And you can keep your eyes closed or slightly blurred down at the floor. Take a deep inhale in through the nose. And exhale out through your mouth. And you can 
listen to my voice and just sing with me or you can jump in or if you don't feel comfortable chanting you can just listen and bathe in the mantra deep inhale in lam 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 you to either keep chanting Lam, continue on with the pranayama and the mudras for a few more minutes or you can soften into more of a meditation moment I'll give you an affirmation for this Muladhara Chakra. I am safe. I am grounded. I am whole. I am safe. I am grounded. I am whole. 